I'm gonna be talking about hair jigs today. This is a super duper finesse technique. It's been kept under secret oh, the last five, six, seven years. It's kind of become a more popular, more talked about the last year or two. Um, I suppose you guys got a lot of smallmouth up here. Is this mostly smallmouth fishing up in this country? Is there a lot of largemouth up here? But um, you got a lot of clear water? Clear water and smallmouth and shallow, 15 feet or less. Um, anytime you're in those scenarios, this hair jig is a super big player. Is, how many people are familiar with this, this little black marabou jig? It's hard to find though. Yeah, you gotta tie your own. <laughs> but, uh, um, so a few of you know about it, a few of you don't. Um, if you don't know about it, you really need to. It is, it's by far the, it's my number one confidence technique for catching small mouse when they're shallow, 15 feet or less. Um, there, there's not much to it. It's a, you're, it's all super light stuff. This is sixteenth to a, maybe an eighth at best is the heaviest I'm ever gonna throw. Um, little tiny hook and some black marabou. I will throw brown too. Uh, black's my number one color. I use that ninety percent of the time. We get, pop a couple slides here. Um, black, I, I don't know what they think black is. I don't know if they think it's a leech or what it is, but uh, it definitely casts the best silhouette. And I touched on this earlier, uh, small mouths are predominantly visual feeders. You don't need flash, vibration, uh, bright colors and stuff. They live in, a lot of the places we fish them are some of the clearest stuff we'll see anywhere, 20, 30 foot visibility. Um, I mean, it looks like a swimming pool. And that, that's it coming through the water. There's, there's not a lot, there's not a lot of negative cues to it, you know, there's not a vibration or flash or something that's going to deter a fish in that super clear water. Um, they just get behind it and track it. Um, I, I don't know if they, what they think it is, or I haven't been able to determine that. I know when the, may, do you guys have mayfly hatches up here? Okay, that, that's the scenario when I'm going to use the brown. And uh, I, I'm going to pass a couple of these around just so everybody knows, kind of gets an idea what I'm talking about here. I'll just pass one down this side and one down the other side. Um, black and brown, those are the only two colors I use. Brown, um, if you have mayflies hatching, hard to beat. It's, you'll see them coming up eating flies everywhere, and uh, a lot of times you can't really get them to bite on stuff, but that hair jig will, I mean, just catch the snot out of them. There's not much to it. It's just, uh, I'll throw it out as far as I can. And then it's just, I point my rod tip right at the bait. I don't let it sink very long, throw it out, click my bail over, point my rod tip straight at the bait, and it's just slow, steady winding all the way back to the boat. But uh, having a good pair of polarized sunglasses is gonna pay dividends here. Um, like I said, these fish track this bait. So always, every single cast you're making, eyes on the bait when it's coming. You're not gonna be able to see it way out there, but when it gets to that belt, gets up close to the boat, you're looking for a black blob coming behind it. Um, and most of the time, they'll just come up and eat it fairly quick. If you do get one that's tracking you and you're running out of time, eventually, sooner or later, he's gonna see the boat and turn around. So you gotta get him to bite before he sees the boat. Um, it seems like when you, if you just try to kill this bait, when a fish is following it, they'll turn off. I don't know why you'd think they would eat it, but I don't know, it just kills their curiosity as soon as it starts falling. So what you gotta do, Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. From on the water to in the classroom, you'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Information is power in the sport of fishing. So learn from the very best. Subscribe to Bass University TV today.